There is a guy in Russia who thinks he is Jesus. He looks like Jesus, dresses like Jesus, and even has 10,000 followers that believe it. He lives on a mountain and is surrounded by people who treat him like a god. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is he crazy? How on earth did he get 10,000 believers? And is he really Jesus Christ? Deep in the forest in Russia, I found this town that looks like a tiny elf village. In this town, everyone is vegetarian. They grow their own food and money doesn't matter because everything is free. It sounds like heaven on earth and it was all built by one man. He calls himself Vissarion. 25 years ago, he was a normal guy. He worked as a traffic officer in Russia. Then one day, he woke up to a realization that he is Jesus. So he wrote his own version of the Bible and started to preach his religion. But humankind must make a choice. They have to be shown the way and they must choose to follow or not to follow. People from all over the world listened to him and started to believe it too. Then he moved to the middle of nowhere in Russia and told everyone to join him. People sold their house, their belongings and said bye bye to their family to come and live closer to him. More and more people came until 10,000 people lived here. His followers love him so much that every house in the town has a picture of him. They even have their own Easter holiday, August the 18th, the day that Vissarion realized that he was Jesus. On the outside, this village looks peaceful and beautiful, but inside, they were holding a dark secret. Сейчас можно будет смело сказать, что процентов 80 населения Земли имеют серьезное психическое отклонение. Turns out, Vissarion was isolating his believers from the outside world, making them sell their houses and belongings so that they had nothing to go back to. And he would tell them that the world is going to end very, very soon, and the only way to heaven was to stay with him. То, которое существует, оно не должно существовать. Оно должно самоуничтожиться. And then this year something crazy happened. Vissarion was arrested by the Russian police for using his religion to steal money from his followers and for child abuse. <laughs> and this got me thinking about religion. How can a guy in Russia claim he's Jesus, get 10,000 people to actually believe it and get away with it for 25 years? So, I did some research, and turns out, he's not the only one. There's a Jesus of Brazil, a Jesus of Australia, and a Jesus of the Philippines. But what's even more crazy is that each of them got a lot of money and a lot of power from doing it. And if they can do it, then why can't anyone else from any other religion do it too? I'm not saying that this is what major religions do today, but it's definitely what these guys did. They made people believe their religion, took money from them, abused them, and benefited, all in the name of religion. So next time someone asks you to just have faith, ask yourself, who is the one who benefits from your beliefs? You or them? Hello, beautiful, beautiful human beings. I hope that you enjoyed this video about the fake Jesus. I found this video online and I thought I have to share it with you guys because it's just so extraordinarily weird. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I hit a secret egg somewhere in the video. Find it, take a screenshot, and send it to my Facebook page. And I'll send you a secret motivational message. See you in the next video.